found yourself singing a song in the shower or while going on about your daily activities and then suddenly you realize that you didn't even know the meaning of the lyrics or that it was from an advertisement. That's the effect the Jerusalem hit song had on many people all over the world. Jerusalem. The Jerusalem song by South African singers Master KG and Zidoke seems to have presented the world with an elevating and inspiring experience at this time of challenge and uncertainty. The song has brought hope to a world ravaged by the pandemic which impacted travel, social interaction and partying and events. The Jerusalem dance challenge seems to have caught the imagination of millions of people all over the world from all walks of life. Videos emerged online from all kinds of people, from police officers to construction workers, from nuns to medical workers, from corporate executives to students and even fuel attendants. Even the army in some countries did the Jerusalem dance challenge. The Jerusalem challenge dance went viral and this was global from Africa to the world. This dance became a symbol of hope across the world from Angola to Kenya, from Italy to the US, from Portugal to Australia. No one was left behind. All kinds of institutions have participated in the Jerusalem challenge from insurance companies to wildlife services, from prisons to hotels, from training organizations to political groups. Actually, the Jerusalem dance that I found to be quite interesting was this one done by the Kenya Wildlife Service, where you see the animals appearing to dance to the Jerusalem challenge. They have the elephants, then they have the, uh, I think it's a hippopotamus, all of them looking like they're dancing to the Jerusalem challenge together with their rangers. It became even more popular during the customer service week when many companies outdid each other, now competing on a different stage on the dance floor and with a light note. The song inspired and ignited all kinds of people to get up and dance as they sang along. Many marketers looked at this with curiosity and wonder, actually almost envy, wondering how it happened and how they could get this kind of reaction for their messages. And this got me thinking, will we see a renewal of musical jungles in advertising going forward? What lessons can marketing people learn from this? What are people looking for? Maybe that's the first question to ask. What are people looking for? Are people looking for inspiration, involvement, engagement? What do they need? What led to this exuberant reaction to this song and dance, even from those who generally do not dance? Is it the need for engagement, involvement, or interaction? Is there room for more engaging advertising jingles? What do people want? What do they need? What do they aspire to at this particular time, especially now when we think about how the world has been shaken by the pandemic? How do you involve people more in the current context? Now, in my line of work in research business, we sometimes get assignments to test advertisements and in the past, we used to test some advertisements with musical jingles. This is to assess the ad's effect on people and how they influence the customer's feeling, attitudes and behavior. However, in the recent past, we have not seen many advertisements with jingles. And this has been a global change where jingles have been going down and particularly people argue that it has a lot to do with the change in the way people consume media and the low span of attention that our consumers seem to have, that we all seem to have actually. Jingles are musical messages written around a product or brand for use in advertising or other promotional activities. They are like extended musical slogans. They carry a message while adding the value of entertainment. They are powerful marketing tools. And since we all like music, the intention of the organizations that use jingles is to tap into that musical side of our brains in order to get our attention and interest. Jingles are used to enhance interest in the communication and to help with memorability. The 
ease of remembering. You know how easy it is to remember a song compared to words and you know messages like made of just words? The main use of jingles in advertising is to promote a product, a service or business. While jingles may not necessarily be appropriate for some businesses, where they fit well, they can serve to add great value by enhancing recall of the message and can even be very impactful. Some jingles are unforgettable and they serve as key brand assets that can remain in the memories of customers for years. Which advertising jingles do you remember? You know, I'm trying to think, I can, uh, I can remember no soup and I don't know whether that product even still exists in the market but the song sort of stuck in my mind. And there was also this one of, uh, is it Aerial? where somebody goes singing and dancing. Jingles are frequently designed to repeat the business name or the product name in clever and amusing ways. Because of their catchy nature, consumers are also likely to mentally rehearse or keep singing and repeating the jingle in their minds. Musical jingles are an effective means of uh, communicating simple messages about a brand. And when done well, they can help build support and loyalty for a brand. Globally, there has been a decline in the use of jingles, mainly because of the changing habit with regard to how we use media these days. In the past, people used to sit and watch TV attentively and without so much disruption. Today, of course, you know everybody is on their phone, even as they are watching. And this has made it harder for jingles to get the attention that they need. And of course, it's become complicated by the fact that the connected consumer has all manner of devices and apps calling to their attention and therefore limited attention span. So to get the benefit from an advertising jingle, it has to be so good, so inspiring, so engaging that it can break through the barriers and get the customer attention the way the Jerusalem song and the dance challenge did. To sum up, jingles can be used first to get attention, second to create interest, third to promote memorability, the ease of remembering, fourth to inspire desire, fifth to promote purchase, sixth to enhance engagement, and seventh to promote loyalty. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to press the like button, write a comment below to give me your feedback. It could even be what topics you'd want me to cover. If you have not subscribed yet, do press the subscribe button below so that you don't miss on any of the videos that we post every week. Thank you and best wishes. Keep watching. We all need to elevate our mindset at this time. <music>